listening to today, I'm going to teach you how to hula hoop. It's really easy. Let's talk about some things first. The size of your hula hoop is very important. The perfect size is about as tall as your belly button. So stand the hoop on the floor, line it up with your body, and if it's too much taller than your belly button, it's going to be easy to hula hoop because the hoop's going to spin really slow. And if the hula hoop is much shorter than your waist and belly button, it's going to be quite hard to hula hoop because the hula hoop's going to go super fast and you're going to get to have to catch up with it. Now, there are two ways that you can stand while you're hula hooping. The first way is you put your feet side to side, and when you have this position, your hula hoop's gonna hit you on the right and on the left side of your hips. And when it hits you on that side, I want you to push, and it hits you there, and you push, and that's gonna Keep your hula hoop up. The other position that you can do is one foot forward, one foot back, and the hula hoop now is going to hit you in the front and back. So when it hits your belly, you push. When it hits your back, you push. When it hits your belly, you push. When it hits your back, you push. Just like that. So belly, back, belly, back, belly, back. All right. Now, if you've never hula hoop before, this is what I want you to do. Get inside your hoop, make sure it's touching the back of your back. <laughs> Stand your arms forward as much as you can. Give it a good push. And just let it fall. You see how many rotations it does just by itself? All right, now next time, I want you to touch your hoop to the back of your back, lower back. Extend your arms, give it a big push, and try to push against the hoop and those two points at the top of you. So if your feet's front and back, it's the front of the belly and the lower back. And if your feet are side to side, it's both sides. Here you go. See if you can do this. And once you got one way, try to practice the other. Front and back. Now I'm going to teach you three ways how not to drop your hula hoop. First way, your hula hoop is going and it starts to fall. I want you to move as fast as you can. Ah! The hula hoop's going to go back up. The hula hoop starts to fall and you move really fast. And the hula hoop goes back up. Another way to pick up your hoop is your hula hoop starts to fall and you bend your knees up and you pick it back up. <laughs> your hula hoop starts to fall and you bend your knees up and you pick it back up. And the third and last way to keep your hula hoop from falling is spinning. On the direction that your hula hoop is spinning. Same direction, okay you guys? So my hula hoop here is spinning to the left. So, hoop's gonna start to fall, and I'm gonna spin to the left, Woo! and it's gonna go back up. Again, the hula hoop starts to fall, and I spin in on the direction the hoop's spinning, and it goes back up. All right, these are the three ways you can keep your hula hoop going. Don't drop it, or if you drop it, just pick it up and keep going. Once you got this down, you can walk around with your hoop. This is really easy. You're going to take one step forward when the hoop hits your belly. Almost look like you're walking like an Egyptian. Hits your belly. You walk forward. When it walk backwards, when it hits your back, take a step back. There you go, the basics of hula hooping. There are many ways you can use your hula hoop. You can hula hoop around your waist, like I just taught you, or you can use other body parts. You can hula hoop around your hands, in front of you like this. Just spin your hoop around your hand, however it feels good. You can hula hoop around your arm, 
You can hula hoop around your elbow. You can hula hoop around your body. That's called passing. So put the hula hoop in front of you, hold it horizontally, point your fingers together, hold it with one hand, pass it around your body, pick it up with the other hand, and pass it in the front. Again. We're going to just do that around a little faster. It's important to keep your hands pointy fingers together on the front and pinky fingers together on the back. So we pass on the front, pass on the back. And you can do this slow and spin with it fast. You can do it around your legs, your feet, higher around your body. This is a really cool move. And once you got it down, go and play with it as much as you want. Now I'm going to teach you a move called Around the World. Hold your hula hoop horizontally in front of you. With your dominant hand, put it inside the hoop. Lean back. Try to spin that hula hoop on your hand right in front of you like this. Your four fingers are inside the hoop and your thumb is up, guiding it around. Look how I'm leaning forward for this so the hula hoop doesn't hit my knees right there. And again, my hand doesn't move. The hula hoop is moving around my hand, my thumb is up, and I only grab it at this point. And I push it around, I grab, push it around, grab, push it around, and grab. So the whole movement is just with that little push you give with your wrist, and rotate, rotate. Once you get this move in one direction, you can try and learn on the other direction. And then with the other hand, one way, lean forward as much as you can so your knees don't get hit, and the other way. Once you get this down, you can pass it from one hand to the other. Now I'm going to teach you a move called a break. It's called a break because you stop the hula hoop and you reverse its direction. So the hula hoop is going to the right, you're going to stop, and it's going to go to the left. Stop and go to the right. Stop and go to the left. The hula hoop is going to change hands. You're doing pointy finger to pointy finger when you pass it in front of you. You're going to grab the hoop with one hand, fit it on the lower of your back on your waist, and just let it stop. Pass it. Pointy finger to pointy finger. Hold it on your waist. Let it stop. Pointy finger to pointy finger, hold it on your waist, and stop. That's the move right here. Stop, pass, stop, pass, right hand, stop, pass, left hand, stop. Now, when you're able to do it a little faster, the hula hoop's not going to droop anymore. It's going to level out, and you're going to hold and stop on the waist. Pass, hold, stop, pass, hold, stop, pass, hold, stop, pass, hold, stop, pass, hold, stop. Pass, hold, stop. And this is called a break because you're breaking the direction of the hoop. It goes to the right and to the left. Practice this move until you feel comfortable. And then we can use all the three moves I taught you today and we can put them all together. Or break. Or around the world. And passing. All those moves can be worked together. Break, break, break around the world. Break, break, pass. Break, break, break around the world. Break, break, pass. There you go. You just learned how to hula hoop and you learned three amazing, easy hoop moves that you can practice and learn how to do hula hoop dance. It was really nice to have you here with us today. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, go on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash circusimagination, and learn more of our tutorials there.